Mm. These are pretty good. Hey everyone, hi, I'm Amy, Amy Roloff, and I'm in my little kitchen. Look at these bananas. They were pretty far gone, but I think they're still good enough to make muffins. And so what I wanted to do was make like a peanut butter banana muffin with a peanut streusel on top. Let's see how that goes. So you guys are gonna kind of go along this little journey with me here. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to add chocolate, cho uh, cut up chocolate, like chocolate chips. I took a chocolate bar and I'm gonna be cutting these up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, incorporate that in the muffin too. I've got two cups. Instead of all purpose flour, I'm gonna try and use uh, white wheat flour. We'll see how that goes. So we're gonna do two cups of wheat flour Depending on how big your bananas are, or if you had to cut off some of the more ripe part of the banana, I do have four bananas in here, but three would probably be enough. About two thirds cup of buttermilk here. And then I have about six tablespoons of melted butter. Then I have just about a third cup of oil. And I've used canola oil. I haven't made, I haven't done a lot of baking with olive oil, so you may be able to substitute a very good baking olive oil in replace of canola oil. Then I have two eggs, a little bit of vanilla, of course, baking powder, baking soda, a little bit of salt, and then we'll get going on our streusel after we get all of this together. We're gonna mix all our dry ingredients. So I have two cups of the whole wheat flour or white wheat flour, the baking soda. Yeah, baking powder was just a little more than a half a teaspoon and baking soda a little less than a teaspoon. Let's get some salt in here. I don't know, that might be like a half a teaspoon. Now we are going to, we're gonna add everything in here and we're just gonna mix it all up. Melted butter. Oh, that's why I use this thing, so I can really scrape out these bowls. Make sure you get everything. I've got the oil in here. So this is buttermilk. I like to get that little tang since we got the sweetness of the um, bananas. A little bit of vanilla. I got the butter in here. Whoops. I think I did a little more. I'm just going to use this fork that I had gonna mash these. Oh, these are definitely right. Then let's get in the peanut butter. Okay, I think that's enough. We're gonna add in two eggs. Kind of room temperature for all of this stuff. Cause that way, everything gets more incorporated and your butter doesn't begin to um, get in little chunks because of the cold egg. We're gonna put all of these chocolate in here. And that way the chocolate pieces will be coated in the flour and I'm hoping that they will be evenly distributed. So we're just gonna pour the flour in here. Okay, my batter's all ready to go in my muffin tin. And the one thing I wanted to do here was just break up these, chop up these peanuts not into big chunks just enough to kind of make a little crunch on that for that strudel okay that's you know don't fill them any more than three quarters they might crown at the top which is kind of nice but if you fill them any more than that it's a bummer when they overflow So I forgot to tell you, I have my oven preheated to 425 because you kind of want to give it that blast of heat to kind of set everything in. And then turn it back down to, depending on your oven, 350, 375 for about another 15, maybe 20 minutes, but you're gonna cook these for about five minutes on that high heat. Just to show you, 
I mean, that's what my batter looks like. Maybe you can see the little chunks of chocolate in there. And then these are the uh, muffins. And then that's my strudel over there. Okay, I've got my muffins all ready. And we're gonna put a little strudel on them. So just a little bit. Usually what I do is just press it down a little bit. So it's just not this little topping that separates from the muffin. I know you guys are probably wondering why I don't use the lower oven because my up, upper oven has conventional, convection, yeah, convection bake. And so I think there's more heat that goes all the way around everything. So that's why you sometimes use the upper. So we're gonna cook these about five minutes and then I'm gonna turn it down. And we'll cook them for another 15, maybe 20 minutes depending, so. I'll be back here and see how they turned out. Okay, wow, I got the muffins out of the oven and don't they look great? Well, they look great. Let's see if they even taste great. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Let's see how these paper things come off. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yes, spray them a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want them too greasy. Okay. Mm. These are pretty good. In fact, these are very good. Like I said, I love peanut butter. You can taste the hint of chocolate. Definitely can taste the banana. Definitely taste the peanut butter. They're moist. I would probably back off and just go maybe two or three ripe bananas. Mm. I love the streusel topping on top to, uh, as well. Anyway, these are peanut butter banana muffins with a peanut streusel. I love them. They taste great. Go to Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen or my YouTube channel. You can find this recipe and all of the other recipes that I've done so far over there. And I would love it if you subscribe. But for this recipe, I'll tweak it just a little bit. So definitely follow the recipe. So anyway, I'm liking it. I'm gonna keep eating this. So thank you for being in my little kitchen. So from mine to yours, keep gathering. Enjoy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm.